Russia says relations with Canada close to being severed as Ottawa seizes cargo plane. Here's a summary of the article. Moscow is warning that relations with Canada are on the verge of being severed after the federal Liberal government moved to forfeit a massive Russian cargo plane. A year ago, Canada became the first G7 country to enact a law that allows Ottawa to not just seize assets held by sanctioned people, but to forfeit the money and have it diverted to victims of a sanctioned regime. The law remains unused but Trudeau said Ottawa plans to begin a process to either transfer the plane to Ukraine or sell it for money that would support the country's recovery. The Russian registered Antonov and 124 is owned by the firm Volga Dnepr, which Canada sanctioned in April. Moscow and Ottawa have summoned each other's ambassadors numerous times, with Canada arguing Russia is committing war crimes and spewing homophobic rhetoric on social media. The Kremlin says Canada isn't adequately protecting its Ottawa embassy. Canada's approach to seizure and forfeiture is the first of its kind globally. It is certainly the case that Russia would be deeply concerned if other countries followed Canada's approach. This post received a score of 21,000, with an up-vote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Well, that should be scaring Canadians as we would lose our, our, dot dot dot. What would we lose, actually? Asbestos market, magnesium supply edit, okay they don't export asbestos anymore, but imports of titanium and magnesium. Didn't we kinda ban asbestos already? Canada and Australia still produce it commercially. All militaries still use it in one way or another. Some legacy aerospace applications too. A fake. The last asbestos mine in Canada closed in 2011 or 2012. Domestic use had been banned already for many years, but it's my understanding that the majority of asbestos produced was for export to developing countries where they did not seem to care about mesothelioma and the general dangers of using the product. They mine it? Yeah, it's naturally occurring. That's why talcum powder is often found to have asbestos in it. It's one of a number of natural minerals known as asbestos that often occurs in or near talc deposits. Chrysotile is known as serpentine asbestos and then there are amosite, anthophyllite, tremolite, actinolite, and crocidolite which together make up the amphibole group of asbestos minerals. This guy asbestos is... Don't threaten Canada with a mildly inconveniencing event with little to no consequences. Everybody knows you don't want to see Canadians getting angry. Greater than. I don't care for the English, Scotch, French, Australians or Belgians but damn you Canadians, you take no prisoners and you kill our wounded? German colonel in WW1. Most insane thing was a British reporter was stationed with Canadian forces in World War I and he was shocked about how little care they had for war it was like working a 9 to 5 just killing people with no second though about it, I'm sure there was lasting mental damage to the soldiers. But the perspective from everyone around them Canadian were like killing machines. Meanwhile from what I've heard the Australians are basically frat boys who are very good at killing people. Greater than meanwhile from what I've heard the Australians are basically frat boys who are very good at killing people never ask a woman her age a man his salary Australian special forces how many seats their helicopter has. How many seats are there? Just enough for all our prisoners who don't try to escape at the last second. Ha 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 war crimes am I right? The US Marines were shocked into complete, awkward silence for the rest of the flight. They were so shocked they felt they had to report it as a war crime. How far do you have to go to make Marines squeamish? Seriously. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.